So now we're going to go into a caudal glide. This is going to be a manual caudal glide using the hands versus any kind of belt um, in general. So uh, with both patients, male and female, you've got to watch for being a little bit too close to the genitalia. Uh, with males, what I like to do is I just ask them to move anything that might get in the way of my grip out of the way. They can either do that through the shorts, or if you want, you can tuck a towel around and say, could you please just tuck that into the hip as far as you can. When they tuck that in as far as they can, it just by nature pushes anything out of my way. So now once that's done, I can move into my position, which is going to be putting that person's knee on my shoulder. I'm going to get pretty low into the hip. If they've got the abduction, I'll drop them out to the side a little bit. I'm going to start with my hands medial, and then I'm going to rotate the soft tissue into the direction that I want. I can go medial to lateral, I can go, or sorry, lateral to medial, or medial to lateral. For him, he feels a little stiff, so I'm going to start lateral, come medial, that's going to lock the soft tissue, and then from there I just lean back, and this is going to provide my caudal glide. Once I'm at the range of motion, I can just continue to oscillate, again using mostly my legs to move, and then just isometrics for the upper body. Okay, so we've done a manual version of the next technique. It's still going to be a caudal technique for here. However, just by nature, you'll see that there's a little bit of a lateral pull uh, when we use a belt to help us out. So the nice thing with the belt is anything that we have to worry about from a, a genitalia standpoint is going to happen when we ask the patient to slide the belt in as close as they can to their hip. So can you please move that into your hip as far as you can? Good. From there, I put the belt on. Try to get it so this strap or this connection is on a side because it's much easier to tighten up that belt from there versus trying to fish around for it back here. Here, I can just lift the leg up. I'm trying to keep the belt around my, uh, my own glutes. And then from there, I'm going to create a little bit of a skin lock just by shifting my hips into a little bit of rotation. So you'll see I'm kind of rotating this way, which is going to lock the skin there. And then I've got a counter force with my hands here, keeping them in roughly 90 degrees. If I need to, if there's problems with the knees, I can put that on my shoulder. But from that, I just now lean my rear end away from the patient. That's going to cause a caudal glide, but because I'm not directly below the patient or in line with the patient, there is a slight lateral pull. So, and that is all it is to this technique. Alright, so now this setup is similar to what we do for a caudal glide, but this is a lateral glide. So everything pretty much setup wise is the same, except now I'm actually facing towards this direction versus towards the head. From there I can still create a little bit of a um, skin lock around that person's body just by rotating my hips slightly, and then I just lean backwards, providing a counter force here to that mobilization. Now this one, you definitely get a lot of trigger points on the inside of the leg, so this can be very uncomfortable with the belt pushing against those muscles. So sometimes you might have to put a towel or something between the person's leg and the belt. So this is a combination of the caudal glide and the lateral glide. The only difference between this is you're uh, also going to be moving the leg into more internal rotation as you do this. Um, you can do this by either taking this grip, if the knees are uncomfortable, you can take a grip that's more like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a caudal glide, and then as I come out into a lateral glide, maintaining pressure the whole time, I'm going to internally rotate the leg with me. And then it would be mobilization, relax, mobilization, relax, and then mobilization. If I need to at the very end, I can provide a small thrust just by shifting my weight back very rapidly. 